And with more than two weeks till Halloween, you're likely getting your costumes ready and buying candy. There's a good chance, though, you aren't going to the extent one man is in the name of the holiday. Oh, no. The Nows Ann Kelly is live on the south side, getting scared out of her wits, ready to explain. Ann? Well, Raphael and Candace, I've spent today tiptoeing through Fright Manor, a haunted house here in the south side. It's open for the season, and like usual, it has lots of fake blood and... Good evening. I am Prince Vlad. And creepy characters, <laughs> but new this year, something different, all for a good cause. It's the kind of place that makes your heart skip a beat. <laughs> Your hands sweat that most people find unnerving. Spend 20 minutes inside Fright Manor here on South Meridian. Chances are you're ready to leave. Unless you're Tony Cecil. So you're in this getup all day? Mm hmm. Pretty much. Roger, you're up. A 62 year old grandpa who this year isn't just working for Fright Manor. He's also living here, is not leaving this creepy horror house for two weeks. I'm an old deer hunter. It used to be nothing to go out into the woods for a week or two at a time, just a tent and a cooler. So this, this is actually even better. Sleep on the couch, I lay out my sleeping bag. I've got my pillows and my quilt. He's doing this because the only thing scarier than the place where he is staying right now the deteriorating condition of a place that many of these ghouls and goblins send their kids, the Southport Little League field. It needs a new scoreboard, among other things. So Tony and Fright Manor's longtime owner, Tom Angrick, hoping to make the need clear through this two-week stunt. Come by and talk to Prince Vlad and make a donation. Encouraging people to walk in at any time to give to the cause. When they do, they'll see Tony, who through next Friday will definitely be here, dressed up and waiting for donations. Anything for the kids I'm for, whether it be Southport or next door or whatever, it's for the kids. And when they're not scaring you, Fright Manor hoping to raise more than $3,000 for the Southport Little League. So if you come here to go through this horror house, maybe make a donation after... <laughs> you get a good scare. Reporting live for the Now Indie on the South Side, Ann Kelly, RTV6. Ann, thank you so much. That was great. I really like that one. It's time to check your forecast.